Good evening. Welcome to my channel, Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey, today I'm going to share with you three farmhouse flips for a collaboration makeover May. Of course, I'm going to throw a little garden cottage in there, but let's flip right into my first DIY. So we are working on a ladder that I have had in my possession for about a year now. I got this at a thrift store clean out that I did last year and I did nothing to this ladder. I just left it. What we did do is we got these hooks from Walmart and we screwed the hook to the bottom of the ladder. That makes sense. You saw it, the top of the ladder, but the bottom of it. So here's my husband. He is helping me out. He has a rope and he's tying it to a metal stake. You could use any kind of stake that you find at the store. Um, we used a metal because it gets pretty windy back here. And he hammered it into the ground and now he's tying it to the ladder. Now this is so the ladder doesn't go anywhere. This is gonna be in my backyard. We have dogs and we do not want them to knock it over. So he did add some mulch here and this mulch matches our house. So I am not a big fan of red mulch, but it works perfect for this. So this is a chain I got at the Dollar Tree and he is hanging a plant. As you can see, it's already hanging. What he's doing right here is screwing in some planters. So I have five planters and they're not going anywhere. So five planters and we did two on two different rungs and one on by itself. So now there's a little space there and I can put my tools or my bag of dirt, whatever I'm working on. So I did get some herbs that were already growing. I have some lavender and some rosemary and some thyme. So I just love cooking with these herbs and I love having them outside so I can just go outside and get some fresh herbs. And I just love this. And I do have to say that all my neighbors have walked over just to see this and they are all making one of these. So I am super happy that this came out so amazing. It was actually my husband's idea, guys. So I can't take all the credit, but I am in love with this. And it's functional, like it's adorable and it's functional. It's a little farmhouse, a little cottage garden. It's adorable at nighttime. That is just a, a solar lamp that I got from Ocean State Job Lot. And I spray painted the base to match the decor in my backyard. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. I am just so in love with it. I can't get over how adorable this is. It is just the cutest thing. And I just love the little flowers in the middle. It's hard to see it, but in, in person you can see it. It's hanging there. They are beautiful. I just love this. Now this is adorable, guys. I got this at a yard sale. I love it. I spent $20. $20, guys. Oh my goodness. So I did have a few different ideas for this, but as you know with DIYs, they don't always work out the way you want them. So first I went through and I took all the hardware off. I did clean this first. Now I'm gonna sand it. I was hoping to keep these drawers original, but when I was sanding it, there was about four layers of paint and I just w wanted a quick flip, guys. I did not wanna spend too long on this. So you're gonna see what we do. But now I am sanding the top and this was in really good condition. It just had a couple of scratches on it. So I really didn't have to do too, too much to it when it came to sanding. I was so happy when I saw this little keyhole. So I got out my little emery board and I just filed off any of the paint from the previous people and I just cleaned it up really good. Although I am going to paint this now. So all the spots that were like damaged because of that, like four coats of paint, I just went over it and I used a charcoal paint. So I just went to Home Depot and I found you know, an interior furniture paint and I had them mix it to the color charcoal. So I'm going through and I'm painting all of this top and the drawers. Now I did not change out the hardware. I put the regular hardware back on. So we are putting this in my back hallway that definitely needed a makeover. So I have the kids over and everyone is going to help. 
So I have William and Mike. They are putting up some of my favorite vintage boxes. I love these boxes. They just screwed them in with some sheetrock screws. Here we are measuring where we're putting the screws for a coat hanger. So we marked it on the tape and then we taped the tape up on the wall so we could hang the screws exactly where they belong and it worked perfect. I love this and that hanger was a thrifted um, hanger I got for I think $3.99. I love these boxes so much. This is in my back hallway where we put our toilet paper and paper towels, but people walk through here and it's always messy. So now I have this gorgeous piece. Oh my goodness, is it gorgeous. And I love these boxes. I just can't, like I love this back hallway so much. Like I, I'm just still amazed by it. I love it so much. It's functional, it's beautiful, it's inviting. Oh, I just love it. I love the colors, I love the wood. I love everything about this. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I am so happy, even though I wasn't planning on doing that to the bureau, I love the way it came out. I love all these items in this closet, well, back hallway, and I just love it. I just, I, I can't get over how beautiful these storage boxes, well, crates came out. Let me know down in the comments if you love to go yard sailing. I know I cannot be the only one. This is a collaboration, Makeover May. We are doing some farmhouse flips. If you don't know these ladies, you need to. Jamie is just so sweet and so talented and right up my cottagey alley. And the host tonight, Brandy, is hilarious and she's just so creative. Answer all three of our questions to be entered into the giveaway. Brandy will pick the winner on May 31st. Make sure to follow the playlist for some more farmhouse makeovers. All the links are down in my description. Now that I cleaned out that hallway, I need to uh, make a potting bench for all my garden supplies. So I went to the store, the thrift store, and I got this table for $14.99. And I had my husband help me take the sides off. So this was a kitchen table that opened up. But I took off both sides because we do not need that. We are making a potting bench. So you can see some of the items I'm going to be using up there, which are, you'll see. <laughs> so here I am sanding this down and this really was in good condition. I just wanted to sand it down just to make it nice and even. And then we went to my father-in-law's garage. Now you guys know I am disabled. I have some handicaps and I am probably not the best to use a saw. So my father-in-law helps me out and he loves doing this. Like he does this, even though he's retired, he just loves woodworking and he's so amazing. So he is just cutting some boards here for me. We are going to make the back wall of the potting bench. So he has a little bit of wood glue here and he is making the side to adhere to the back of the board. Now you can see those white plastic shelf dividers that is going to be the inside of my potting bench i do actually go and spray paint those plastic pieces which you do not see on video but i do spray paint them but i just love this he went through with his sander and he always does this he says it finishes the project and it really does he did such a beautiful job i'm so thankful he is just such a big help so I brought it home and now I'm staining it and I'm using a summer oak. I thought that would match the table pretty good. And I just go through and I do all the sides inside and outside. Now this is going outside so I don't know how long this is going to stay outside because of the rain but we'll see. So here I went through with that summer oak and I just freshened up the top of this. Although I feel like even though I sanded it it's really very orangey and I'm not really a big fan of that orange even though it's going outside I still kind of want to love it you know so after I put all this on I let it dry and I still didn't care for it so I went through with just a little bit of white paint and I just dry brushed it so nothing fancy but it did it did tone down that orange and that's what I wanted so we 
had my husband help me. We went to the hardware store and we got some of these brackets and we put them on the back and along the sides on the inside. Here he is just um, drilling a hole and this is for a little cutlery um, basket, but it's now going to be for obviously garden tools. So here are those dividers and I spray painted them with espresso to match the bottom and I just love it. I already filled it up with everything I need. It's already messy looking at the bottom because I, I, that's how I roll guys. So I just love this. Like there is so many things I can do out here. I have room to work. I have a little drawer there that all these little items came from uh, a couple different stores locally, Christmas tree shop, Walmart, but you can find these items anywhere. The thrifted table, this cutlery basket, the little drawer, everything has its place and I just love it. My question for the giveaway is, do you prefer farmhouse or cottage? What is your pick? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are inspired and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I want to thank Brandy from the DIY Struggle for hosting this collaboration and giveaway. And I want to thank my good friend Jamie from Simple Roots Simple Living for asking me to join them. Don't forget to head down to the description to check out the playlist because these ladies are going to bring the farm to the house. You can find me on Instagram as Freckled Mom. I post daily motivation, healthy living, DIYs, and more. I have a lot coming up, so hit the bell and turn the notifications to all and you will never miss a new video. Keep crafting and have a great weekend.